So I have four pieces of RCA alignment gear here and um, I got this stuff at an estate sale a couple years ago and I have never used it because I have the BNK 415 but it doesn't do the older 21 megahertz TVs so uh, after seeing a t uh, video posted by Banderson TV where he goes to a line an old 21 megahertz set and it's way off I started thinking about this stuff and this is the first thing I got and it has IF video IF video attenuation and then it has channel and it has two bias outputs sweep width and blanking um, he talked about a, a spinning capacitor. I'm tempted to open this up and see if it has a spinning capacitor or how it generates the sweep. And I'm a little confused why it would have channel output as well as IF video. Okay, the next piece here is a RF, IF, VF marker adder, marker shape, so I guess the marker input would be like from the signal generator and then of course you run, you feed the sweep through here and it you can add another marker in which is kind of cool I guess here's a third piece this is a television calibrator and I have absolutely no idea what this does at all it's got a speaker And the fourth piece of equipment is crystal calibrated marker generator. So you have an output, you have a bunch of RF attenuation, and then you have RF range, which shifts this whole thing. So I guess these red bands would be the channels. Let's see, where's channel FM? Okay, this is the FM band from whatever, 88 to uh, 108. And then here's your TV channels here. And then here's S oh sound and then something else. So um, so down around 22 we got uh, I guess that's 21.25 or so. That would be the sound, and then uh, I guess. 25.75 would be the picture. So it only goes down to 19. These are these are markers. I wonder if this works because I could I could feed this into the 1077 where it I mean not 1077 the 415 where it covers a sweep. And it's got some I wonder why it has a speaker in it. Or maybe it doesn't. Anyway, so those are the four pieces of uh, RCA alignment gear I got. And then I got all of the, all of the cables and connectors and, and probes for it. 
I just no instruction. Oh, what is this one? Video multi marker. So I'm, I don't even get how this thing works. So yeah, if I had the the instruction manuals, I might be able to check this stuff out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a screwdriver and open the sweep generator and see if it's mechanical. So here's the inside of the sweep generator and this this cover was over this part here and it looks like it has some type of vibrating uh, Hoige Bimler right here. Like those little uh, fingered aluminum wafer I think what I need to do is plug this in and see what happens. It's totally virgin, never been opened before. Look at that adjustable resistor. Yeah, this is a trip. This thing is vibrating. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Camera's probably blanking it because it's a So as I turn the sweep width up, it's turning the sweep width down to zero. Let me try and hold this perfectly still. Okay, so that's zero. Turning the sweep sweep width up. That is very cool. Probably unreliable as hell, but very cool. And this thing is uh, just as virgin as you can get. Actually has a lot of discs in it, which is kind of cool. I wonder if this thing works. So I'm looking at the uh, television FM sweep generator on my scope and here's what I'm seeing and this is the uh, sweep frequency. And this is the sweep width Turn that down a little bit so you can see this, which is that vibrating thing. So I guess that would explain visually how it works. You have your center frequency, which is just that and then your sweep width which is the spread of that sine wave. So this thing appears to work probably needs to be recapped and checked anyway. The uh, This one, the marker generator which I imagine is just a signal generator and eh, not so well but um, this in conjunction with the uh, uh, signal generator should cover a very very broad spectrum of this should probably even go down to 455 kilocycles if I wanted to sweep that. Well right at the minute I'm sweeping this uh, the final IF stage of this 1950 Filco uh, chassis FM and here's what I got I'm using the RCA I'm using this this radio uses a 9.1 megahertz IF so I'm using the signal generator as a marker on 9.1 uh, megahertz and I'm using the RCA sweep generator with the vibrating thing in it and I'm using the uh, marker adder and here's what I got 
and I'm, I'm going to adjust the sweep width here. So you can see the marker there at the top. I'll turn the signal generator off. So that's the signal generator marker. So this, uh, this old thing actually works. It needs to be recapped, but uh, it works.